Hi, I'm Dr. Adkins. I'm the director of the first year writing program here at Texas A&M University Commerce, and this video is about ethnography. Um, you may have noticed that your textbook is called Ethnographic Inquiries in Writing, and that your teacher has told you you have to complete an ethnographic study in this class. So you may be wondering what ethnography is, and lucky for you, I'm here to tell you. <laughs> okay, Ethnography is a research method that was um, originated in anthropology and you may know that anthropology is the study of culture so that should tell you that an ethnography then is a study of a culture um, you're going to be observing a culture and reporting your findings on that culture um, ethnography requires that you do field work so your other textbook for this class is called field working and this requires you to go sort of out into the field now we're defining the field pretty broadly in this class. We're not asking you to go, you know, for example, to a third world country and do research there, though I have had students do that for honors theses. Um, but this is for, uh, this is, you know, your culture that you're looking for should probably be in commerce or close to where you live. Um, we're not asking you to, to go anywhere crazy. We're asking you to stay close and look at the culture and, and, um, and, and groups around you, okay? Um, Something that's interesting about ethnography is that this is a research method, but unlike some more scientific, hard science uh, methods, the researcher, him or herself, is a tool of the research, which means that we understand that humans have bias and flaw and subject positions, which is something you'll talk about a lot in your class and that there'll be another video made about. Um, despite all these bias, biases, biases and subject positions, etc., um, this is okay. This is okay as long as the researcher is reflexive about those positions. So Charlotte Davies is the scholar who originated this term reflexivity. She says that as long as we sort of acknowledge how who we are and the biases and experiences we bring to research influences the research and sort of present that up front to the um, to the reader of our research that it's okay. So for example, um, I did a research study of um, literacy practices of an Amish community in Southeast Ohio in 2007. I completed that research. Yes, no, 2007 or 2008, I can't remember right now. Um, and so when I was doing that research, I needed to sort of acknowledge that um, everything that I learned from the Amish was influenced by the fact that um, I'm not Amish, I've never been Amish, I'm never going to be Amish, um, and so they may have been responding to me differently because I'm not Amish, um, they may have responded differently to me because they're off, everyone I talk to is friends with my in-laws, and so that influences that relationship, and if I didn't know my in-laws, of course, I would have never had access to these people. Um, they may have responded to me in specific ways regarding education because they know I'm an educator and that I teach at a university. Um, and so, you know, that, that's, that's something else I had to be reflexive about. So these things are okay as long as you acknowledge them up front and sort of talk about and think about very carefully how these positions are influencing your results. Okay, and that's called reflexivity. Okay. Um, the best ethnographies are when you go looking for something. So you don't just say, okay, I'm going to observe this culture and see what I find out. Because there's lots of things to find out, and that's not a very organized way to go about it. So lucky for you, in this class, you're looking specifically for reading and writing practices, for literacy practices. Okay, So you're going into this culture and trying to figure out how reading and writing plays a part in this culture. How does reading and writing help define this culture or help define what it means to be part of this culture? And how is it important or not in this community? Those are all things you're looking for in your research, okay? So the important thing to know is that you're doing observation of a culture in the field, right? And um, when you're in the field, you'll be taking double entry field notes. You may be doing interviews or giving out surveys. Um, and you're doing reflective writing following observation in which you reflect in a reflexive way about how your subject position has influenced um, influenced your um, your findings, okay? And so that's ethnography. Let me I'll let your teacher know if you have any questions.